All right, so let's go ahead and let's do our um, Yell AR review. Today is Wednesday, um, and for our review, we're going to use this book here. First Language Lessons for the Well-Trained Mind, Level 4. We use this book um, along with, with some other resources on our Wednesdays. And we use our main curriculum, which is Shirley Method. Um, is it Shirley? The Shirley English. Yeah, the Shirley English yeah. Method on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So can you go ahead and pull out your language arts notebooking book? It's language arts in the notebooking. Okay. We created a um, notebook for each subject. And we created these notebooks when we used to after school. Um, and now that we've transitioned to homeschooling full time, we just continue to use the same notebook and just exp um, expound upon it. Wait, wait, wait. And I'll do a separate video on. Um, oh, I'll do a separate video on how we do um, notebooking. So you can use your notebook for the review, obviously. So let's talk about. Some of the things we've gone over um, throughout our month and a half now. Wait, that's how that's only a Yeah, we started like it? July 1st. Uh, oh, no, it's been two months. So let's talk about really? what we've discussed during the past two months. And some of this stuff you may have already learned when you were in, in when you were enrolled in public school for the past two years and also during after schooling. Two years? Third and fourth grade, you more than likely learned what we're about to review in the third and the fourth grade. And um, during after schooling, we also went through some of this stuff. So let's go ahead and talk about it. First thing, tell me everything you know about a noun. Is a person, place, thing, animal, or idea? Person, place, thing, animal, or idea. Awesome. Okay. What else do you know about nouns? Nouns. We have plural nouns, singular pronouns. nouns. We have pronouns, we have I common just... nouns, and we have proper nouns. So tell me a little bit about a proper all of noun is a specific thing. So like when it just only a thing, a specific place, thing, person, person, place, place thing, thing. Mm -hmm. idea, or animal. Very good. Specific. Like like if you would say he. He wouldn't be a pronoun because it isn't talking about a specific... He is a pronoun. I'm, I'm I mean, he wouldn't be a proper noun. Correct. Because you're not telling... You're not, you're not telling the name of the person. Right, so... You're not saying a specific person. Okay, so um, proper nouns, you are correct. It is a specific person, place, thing, animal, idea. And we know it's a proper noun because place. what do we do... Oh, place. And we know it's a proper noun... And what do we do with proper nouns? Capitalize <coughs> the first letter. Capitalize the first letter. What's a common noun? A common noun is... A common noun is something that's not specific. Very good. So like a cow. Very or good. he. Or him. Or her. Very good. Or house. Very good. So tell me the difference between plural and singular nouns. Plural. Uh, and oh, singular, singular is one. Means one. It means one. And plural means two or more. Very good. More than one. Um, give me an example of a singular noun and make that same noun a plural noun. Fox. Mm -hmm. Singular. Foxes. Plural. What is a pronoun? Is is used to for, um, replace a noun. Give me an example, a few examples of pronouns. He, they, our. Very good. Awesome. Let's that. jump. Very good. That, this, those are also excellent. We, excellent. Yes. <laughs> yes. Is, oh, you're just telling me yes. Ah. No, we means yes. We means yes in a different language. Correct. Okay, verb. Talk to me about verbs. Verb. It's an action word. Very good. Verb is action word. But I want to dive a little deeper. Remember a while back when we used the after school um, 
we learned a specific definition of what a verb is. No, you don't need to do that. I just had my head down. That's okay. Remember, remember a specific definition? If you don't remember the specific definition, go ahead and look within your book. You are correct. It is an action word. But I want the specific definition. Because a verb doesn't only show action. Do you want to look it look it up in your book, or you want me to tell you, and then you're gonna repeat it after me? Oh, I think you found it. Go ahead. So it's a state of being. What else? Links two words Excellent. together. Wait, that's a linking verb. Very good. I was gonna say linking verb, but I'm like, no, that's a different type of verb. It's a different type of verb, but when you give me the definition of a verb, I want you to tell me everything about the verb. So you are correct. A verb is a word. I'm going, to, I'm going to say it, and then you're going to repeat after me, okay? A verb is a word that does an action, shows a state of being, links two words together, or helps another verb, okay? Repeat after me. A so verb that's a helping a, verb. Mm -hmm, very good. A verb is a word that does an action. Does an act, a verb is a word that does an action. Shows a state of being. Shows a state of being. Links two words together. Links two words together. Or helps another verb. Or helps another verb. So when I ask you, what is a verb? Is it only an action word? No. So give me a complete definition. What is a verb? A verb is a action word. Mm -hmm. It's a state of being. Mm -hmm. It, it um, links two words together. Mm -hmm. It helps other verbs Helps another verb. Yeah, Excellent. Also tells what the noun did. Very okay. Excellent. Very very good. Do you remember a little chant we did when we were learning helping verbs and linking verbs about a year and a half ago? Do you remember that chant for helping verbs and linking verbs? Oh, it's it, it's the R was where one, wasn't it? Yeah. So let's I can't the remember other. the um I can't remember the pattern, okay. like the beat. Okay. Am is R was where B being been. All right, that's oh, it. Oh, we know this more. So I no, this is our other one. It has has has. Oh, you're right. Yeah, have has had. Clap. Two, does oh. Well, you can clap or you can have, hit the table. Has, had, nope. do, does, okay, you're did, right, sorry. shall, will, should, would. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, it's okay. Let's do it together. Ready? Mm -hmm. And, and it is... wait, wait, wait. It's okay. Let's do it together. You're going to tap on the table or you're going to clap? Okay. No, do you want to clap or do you want to tap on the table? Clap. Clap? Okay. And, and is... R was were be being been have has had do does did shall will should would may might must can could excellent one more time that was so old <laughs> I know you learned that in like the third grade I showed I know, you that. I remember that you remember that but those are all helping verbs let's do it one more time. Helping verbs. I feel One, like I was a bean two, verb. Uh, ready? <laughs> um, Begin. Am, is, are, was, were, be, be, oh. nope. be, be, been, have, has, had, do, does, did, shall, will, should, would, may, Maybe. might, must, can, could. Oh, I didn't do the two clips. <laughs> That's it. I must. That's okay. So those are our helping verbs okay. now linking verbs do you remember what the linking verbs are Thanks. what are linking verbs what's the difference between a linking verb and a helping verb tell me what do you remember a linking verb link who's that page on um, six to thirty go ahead six right Say linking verbs. What are linking verbs? Talk to me. Connects the noun to a describing word. 
So a linking verb connects the noun to a Wait, that means a linking verb and a helping verb work together. Excellent. So can a linking verb also be a helping verb? I remember learning that too. Before you write, repeat the whole sentence after Say me. Say a being verb. Show. Show. That you exist. Show that you exist. So some examples of those words are am, is, are, was, were. Oh! There, remember what we said earlier. The linking verbs, state of being verbs, and the helping verbs all because have thought, some of the same verbs with yeah, this definition. Yeah, I didn't know because it said being verb. It didn't say state. Okay. Yes, being verbs, the same thing. So do you have the being verbs? Right here. Oh, be, okay, very good. So what are they? Am, is, are, was, were, be, being, been. Excellent. Now, adverbs. What are adverbs, kid? Adverbs mm -hmm. are, so are a word that describes a noun. Is that I mean, I mean a verb. A word that describes so let's start a verb over. Or another adverb. So let's say, so say it again. Adverb is a word that describes a verb or another adverb. Can an adverb um, describe something else other than a verb or another adverb? Yes. What? Yeah. What? Um, Repeat the definition after me. An adverb is a word. Yeah, so go to it. No, repeat after me first and then you okay. can go to it. An adverb is a word. An adverb is a word. That describes a verb. That describes a verb. An adjective. An adjective. Or another adverb. Or another adverb. I was, no, 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 I, no. <laughs> repeat I, after me again. Let's I, say it together I, again. An adverb is a word. Ad, 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 uh, adverb is a word. That describes a verb. That describes a verb. An adjective. An adjective. Or another ad adverb. Or, or another adverb. What's an adverb, Jeremiah? Adverb is something that describes a verb, or the, another adverb, or, a, or adjective. Excellent. And job. ask how, when, and where. Excellent. So what? How? How? What? What are the questions? How so many? many? Which we don't know. No, oh, no, no, no. That's oh. adjective. We can't do that. Oh, very good. Oh, man, I thought I could trick you. Okay, so you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So go ahead. It describes how. Where. I mean, how, yeah, how, when, where. How, when, where. You Excellent. forgot one thing that we didn't put here. What? I'm about to put right now. I know you have to do it because you wrote everything. So no, no, you can write it. I want you to write it with your hand right To what extent? Very good. What does that mean? Okay, so now I'm going to read another sentence. I sigh again. When do I sigh? Again. So again is an adverb that tells you when you sighed. Mm -hmm. Got it? Next one. I sigh anywhere. Where do you sigh? Anywhere. So anywhere is an adverb that tells you where you sigh. So, so far we said the how, the when, the where. Correct? Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. I sigh frequently. That's how often do I sigh? Frequently. Frequently. So frequently is an adverb that tells us how often. So remember, we focused on adverbs that describe verbs, right? These adverbs tell how, when, where, and how often. But remember um, that adverbs can describe more than just verbs or, ad or other adverbs. They can also describe what? Adjectives. Adjectives. So these new adverbs don't tell how, when, where, or how often. But how many to what extent? But they can tell you something called to what extent. Oh. So although there are many adverbs like this, let's talk about the eight most common ones. And when you get back to your desk, I want you to write in your notebook mm -hmm. the eight most common adverbs that explain or tell to what extent. Because I remember as we, go, as we have been going through examples and we talk about adverbs, you often ask me, well, how do I know if it's to what extent? And when you hear these words, you're going to be like, oh, that's to what extent? Okay, okay. I'm listening. I need, we need to put it on a new page because... Yes, you can do that. Well, you can put it in the creases, in the corners of your paper, or yes, you can start a new page. Uh, but I would prefer probably like in the creases or corners of the notebook page that already talks that. about it. Yes, exactly. Here are the eight most frequently used adverbs that describe adjectives that explain... To what extent? Or tell to what extent? Two, I know. Two. T-O-O. -O, two. 
very, oh, really, oh, oh. quite, I never knew so, what that means. extremely, oh. rather, slightly. So these adverbs describe adjectives. No wonder I barely, no wonder I barely ever use T-O-O -O because I really don't use an adverb to describe an adjective that much. So you, no, you probably, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's probably why I don't But we're going to start adding that, okay? So you probably knew it, but you just didn't know the word that yeah, those probably, explain. And then I probably forgot it because I never use it. So let's talk about an example. She is too timid. Oh, it's a, she is very timid. Oh, two is described. Two is describing. Describing. Exactly. So two is an adverb. So she is very timid. Timid is, since timid is an adjective and very is an adverb. So You're just using it? Very to good. To what extent? Very. She is really timid. She is so timid. She is rather timid. She is slightly timid. She's extremely timid. She's quite timid. Do you even know what the word timid means? Yeah. What does timid Kinda, mean? Kinda, because I was watching, because when I was reading my um, manga. Okay, so what does timid mean? Timid is like, what's that? Timid is like what? No, it's not. Um, timid is like what? Timid is um like nervous. Okay, a little nervous, but shy. Shy, okay? All these adverbs tell to what extent a person is timid or shy. Mm -hmm. To what extent is she timid? She's too timid, very timid, really, extremely, rather, slightly, quite. Do you have any questions for me? Does to what extent always have to describe an adjective? Yes. I don't want any of these third grade grade definitions. Well, no, I'm sorry. I don't want any of these second grade, third grade definitions. Give me a... Adjectives oh. tell what kind, which one, how many, and whose. Go ahead. You, you can give me as many examples as you like. Go ahead. Examples of it? Of what kind? Colors. Tall. Yellow. Fuzzy. Which one? Examples of which one? This. That. Each. Oh, that and each, that's what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. That, each, first, second, last, how many, uh, all, both, and several. Mm -hmm. That explains how many or tells you. Whose. Whose. Noun. Noun. That means it can be any noun. Okay. It can be any noun? No, no, no. It, it can, can describe. describe any noun. So let's. So here's the complete definition. Repeat after me. An adjective is a word that describes a noun or pronoun. That's what you were missing. The word pronoun. Repeat after me. An because adjective reading, is a word. I was reading this. An adjective is a word uh -huh. that ahead. describes a noun and a pronoun. Or a pronoun. Or a pronoun. Adjectives tell what kind, which one, how many, and who. I have a question. Can you repeat that first? Adjectives, adjectives tell what, what kind, and which one, how many, and who. That's your question. Excellent. Um, can one adjective describe a noun and a pronoun? In the same sentence, it probably can, depending on what your, what your sentence is. Really? What else do we know about adjectives? You're missing one thing. Something we learned about adjectives. We learned about a set of words. It was three words that we learned as something different. And then you eventually learned that those were also adjectives. Do you want to sit down? I know what you're talking about. It's, I know we learned it like yesterday. No, we learned it like ago. last year. What? Yes. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to read a sentence and then you tell me if you can put it together. <gasps> oh, oh, I know. What? Articles. Excellent. So articles like, are. Wait, wait. The only three words that I know that she said that was adjectives are articles. So articles are. Adjective or can are, be named adjective articles. Adjective articles. Repeat after me. Articles are little words. Articles are little words. You need to know only three. You need to know only three. The articles that describe nouns. The articles that describe nouns are. Are. A and the. A and the. Repeat the articles again. What are the articles? A and the. And articles are also called? 
Adjective articles. Very good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Any questions on that? No. You knew that, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. This guy is smart. The guy is very smart. Wait, see, look. Oh! Yeah, I canceled the appointment. Oh. <laughs> You're like, what? I canceled the appointment because today I want you to try parquet. Is it called parquet? Yeah. Yeah, I want you to try parquet. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, what? Yeah. I totally forgot about that. That's okay. You don't have to remember those appointments. It's my responsibility to remember those type of, those type of appointments. But when it comes but to martial you, arts and stuff. Yeah, martial too. arts. Your extracurricular activities. That's, right. that's your responsibility because to remember. I enrolled remember. myself in that. No, I enrolled you, but you wanted made the commitment and yeah. you wanted to be in it, right? Yeah. Okay. So, next. What are the types of sentences? Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me. Irregular. Wait, you have, you have a song? No, I don't. <laughs> are you doing a dance? No. Okay, come on. I just see what you're saying. <laughs> Go ahead, kid. Come on. Let's irregular, go. exclamatory. I don't know what irregular means. <laughs> oh, well, wait. wait. Start by telling me how many types of sentences are there. Four. So there. So say there are four types of sentences. There are four types of sentences. Okay. Go ahead. Oh. And the four types of sentences are what? Exclamatory. Declar exclamatory. Declarative. declarative Im imperative. Imperative. That would tell me just say like the two first. I kind of know it starts with the I did the second letter. Oh, enter. I, I, I just said I did the first two letters. Oh, I am sorry. <laughs> come on, come on. Here. Interrogative. Very good. Excellent. So I am going to start a sentence and you're going to complete the sentence for me based on your understanding of the definition. There are four types of sentences. Statements, commands, questions, and exclamations. A statement gives. A statement gives. Tell me, oh, tell me about it. what's a statement. A declarative. It ends with a period. So, a statement mm -hmm. gives information. Mm -hmm. Ends with a period and declarative. So, when we are classifying our sentences, a part mm -hmm. of that classification is telling me the type of sentence. Mm -hmm. So, when you tell me this type of sentence, you have to tell me the type, declarative. Definition, statement, what's the end mark? Period. Yeah. Excellent. Next one. Exclamatory. Go ahead. Exclamatory. And the exclamation mark shows strong feeling. Excellent. Boom. Done. Power. So, exclamatory mm -hmm. shows strong feeling mm -hmm. and ends the exclamation mark. Excellent. Next. Go. Interrogative. Interrogative. Command. Commands. Ends of the period. Ends of the period. Mm hmm. And, and, and oh, oh no, no. I, mean, I mean no I said imperative imperative oh you want imperative I'm sorry yeah, okay. I was gonna, okay, imperative, imperative is a command mm -hmm. that ends in a period excellent so imperative is the type of sentence what's the definition it's a command and what does it end with a period yeah. excellent uh, so what's the last one interrogative I mean imper I mean interrogative excellent interrogative and go ahead. Interrogative is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, nah. But interrogative is a question. Question. That ask and end in a question mm -hmm. mark. Very good. So interrogative, ask a question, mm -hmm. ends in a what mark? Question, question mark. Mm -hmm. And it is an interrogative sentence. Super. Okay. Right, right any questions on the That's four the types of sentences? No. No? Nope. So let's move on and tell me, what are the parts of the sentence? You mean parts of speech? I'm just kidding. Parts nope. Of parts of the sentence. What? what do you mean? Oh! You mean like, okay, subject, noun. Wait, first tell me the five parts of a sentence are. And say oh, your song. A sentence, sentence, sentence. Ah, it feels so good to say this again. The <laughs> sentence set <sent> out. <laughs> A sentence, sentence, sentence is complete, complete, complete. With these five simple rules, it meets, it meets, it meets. Excellent. So a sentence, sentence, sentence is complete, complete, complete. When five, five simple, simple rules, rules, it meets, meets, meets. meets, meets. meets. What are those it's rules? It's so funny when you say meets, meets, meets. <laughs> That's why I say it meets, it meets, it meets. Whatever you like. Okay. And what are those five parts? Go. Noun. Verb. Subject, subject noun. Subject noun. Verb. Uh, oh, yeah. Period. Not a period. 
punctuation. Punctuation. Because you know what the exactly. Um. Oh yeah, capital letter in the beginning, and it makes sense. Excellent, excellent. I know job. it. I just thought for some reason. You know everything so far with our review. I'm so proud of you. Okay, so tell me the difference between a complete subject and a complete predicate and a complete, I'm sorry, a simple subject and a simple predicate. Dun, dun, dun. Go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please repeat it. Please. <laughs> so what's the difference between a complete subject and complete predicate? Oh, okay. Complete subject is the subject noun and everything that describes it. Excellent. And the complete predicate is the verb and everything that describes it. Booyah! Oh, boo! Ah, boo! Ah, ah. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait. You just go. Oh, yeah. Very good. <laughs> now, what is a simple subject and a simple predicate? Uh, you don't know this. Repeat uh, please repeat it. What is a simple subject and a simple uh, predicate? A simple subject is the subject noun, and a simple predicate is the verb. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. Now, finally in our capital in, I'm sorry, finally in our review, what is what are the capital capitalization rules? Ooh. Oh, okay. Dun, 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 capitalization dun, dun, capitalization dun, dun, rules. You always have to capitalize it on the first beginning of the sentence. Excellent. Um Excellent. when there's a pronoun. Excellent. And when showing strong feeling. What do, what do you mean? Like, you know how, like, when you're, like, someone is yelling, they capitalize all letters? Oh, to show strong... Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What, so, give me some examples of what we should capitalize. Okay. Months of the year. Okay, just with the baby. Okay, now. No, it's not her. I think it's the television. So, what are some things we capitalize? We know months of the year. What else? Um, months of the year, mm -hmm. days of the week. Mm -hmm. What are some other things you absolutely know you have to capitalize when you're writing? Address. Months? I already said that. Uh, I said months of the year. Oh, I, I just said, said address and days of the week. Oh, 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 go ahead. Um, countries, countries, continents, continents states, states, cities, cities. The um, titles, titles. Right? I was going to say titles of films. <laughs> <laughs> titles. What else? Holidays. Types of what, what, what holidays. I don't know any holidays. Like, how, like Easter, Christmas, I'm Thanksgiving. I'm talking about oh. because we don't celebrate them. Oh. Um, the name of a street. Name of a, name of a street. Name of a school. Like, like you said, proper nouns. Name of a tree. Because actually, some trees are actually famous in name. Oh, exactly. Name Landmarks, bridges. bridges, islands, um, ocean. So, excellent, excellent job. Well, that ends our review. We did talk about prepositions um, this week, which is the lesson that we are doing this week, prepositions. But we're going to dive a little bit into prepositions. prepositions? Just make. Do, do you remember what prepositions are? You do? Oh, go right ahead. I know a song, but it's on YouTube, though. Okay, go ahead. I don't, I don't remember the song. I don't remember the song. But you, you can learn the song. Okay, so learn a song. Find a preposition song. I already know one. But you, you don't remember it. You can't repeat it right now, right? Yeah. Okay, so learn a preposition song. You can use Flocabulary. You can go on oh, there. Oh, Flocabulary has one? Oh, they have one for him. Everything. So you can go to vocabulary and learn a prep preposition song, or you can go to YouTube and learn a preposition song. And I need to have that preposition song. Today is Wednesday. When can I expect that? Friday. Friday. So let's open up your agenda. And let's go ahead. Because Thursday happens to count, so I don't want to on that day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, Thursday, you have a lot of corrections in your independent work day, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't want to do that. So you... Okay, um, I, don't know why I opened it up from the back. <laughs> right here. So we, we already wrote the date for today already based on what we added here earlier. So go ahead and add another box. And go ahead. I need you to preposition is spelled P R E P O S I T I O N S. 
preposition song. And you gave yourself a due date and you gave yourself a due date of Friday and Friday is what? The 8th. The 8th? No, no. no, the, no the 7th. 7th. Yeah, the 7th. But before you give yourself a due date, look at the rest of your agenda and make sure you don't have anything else that's major that's due on the 7th, right? Do we have anything that's major that's due on the 7th? This is on the 10th. Oh, you're writing. No. Well, you're doing it today, right? So your writing is due on the 7th. This is on the 10th. Your bird study is on the 10th. You have to... Um, do you know the thing stop? I'm just going to leave it there. Oops. Go ahead. Okay, I just didn't stop. That's okay. It was it's, the, it's just the battery. Anything due? This is due on the third. Well, that's passed already. We have it done already, no, we already did that. So you only have your oh, writing oh, assignment due Friday. And then you have something due on the 10th. So you only have two assignments. Well, you know, I don't want to do my writing and Beast Academy on the same day. Well, you're not. What do you mean? I'm doing more of my Beast Academy today. Today yeah. and is due tomorrow, Thursday. But this is due on, on this is Friday, the seventh. Nine. The writing seven. assignment is due Friday. So I don't. Yeah. So I don't have to do it today, because I have Beast Academy to do today. Awesome. Oh, you're oh you're telling me you don't want to do your final draft today. You want to do your final draft Friday. Yeah. Because. Oh I, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. As long as I have it done, as not I have it. As long as you have it done and it's correct on that day, I'm good. Okay. So, do you still want to have your preposition song memorized by Friday? Saturday. Saturday? Okay. Nine, eight. And that also give me time to look it up today. Mm -hmm. After I'm on Beast Academy. I mean, oh, yeah. That gives some time today to look it up after you mm -hmm. do some of your Beast Academy corrections. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Great. So, repeat after me. Should I box it? Um, yes. No, we're going to do that at the end of the day. At the end of the day. This? At the end of our school day today. That's when we go back to our agenda. We look at all the things that are due today or the next day, and then we box it so we know in our mind we have to focus on those, right? So let's go ahead and let's do the preposition. Repeat after me. Oh, I didn't Repeat know. after me. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. A preposition is a word that shows the relationship. A preposition is a word that shows the relationship. Of a noun or a pronoun to another word in the sentence. From a pronoun to a pronoun to another word in the sentence. Let's repeat it all together. A preposition is a word that shows the relationship of a noun or pronoun to another word in the uh, sentence. That's okay. A preposition is a word that shows the relationship of a noun or a pronoun to another word in the sentence. Give me some examples. Of a preposition. Um, Do you remember any of them that we talked about? On. Oh, on, up, down. Yeah. Around. Below, through. across, through, under, beneath, over, about, between. Um, yonder. I mean, I was gonna say yonder. yonder. <laughs> Toward. Upon. So, yeah. Remember we talked about, remember we said a preposition is a joining word. It joins a noun or a pronoun to the rest of the sentence. Say that. A preposition joins a noun or a pronoun to the rest of the sentence. A preposition joins a noun or a pronoun to the rest of the sentence. Remember we also said this week that a preposition word asks what or whom. Remember that? Mm -hmm. So say that. Re a preposition word. Represents what or Now represents. Ask. Asks so, what or whom. So say it again. A preposition <laughs> word ask what, what or, or whom. Now, remember, when you're asking what or whom, if the answer to what or whom is a noun or a pronoun, it's a preposition, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Remember, we also talked about a word can be a preposition or an adverb, depending on how it is used in a sentence. Remember? For example, the word down. The word down shows direction, right? Traditionally, we say, oh, it's a preposition because it's the word down, just like up or under or across, right? Is but it depends on 
how it's used in the sentence. If we are using the word down to describe a noun, it can be an adverb. It can also be an adverb. So if we're describing, so if we are um, using that preposition and we ask what or whom, and it relates to a noun or a pronoun, it's a preposition. If it doesn't relate to that, it's a, it's an adverb. adverb. Do you remember that discussion? Yes. Yes. But we're going to dive a little bit deeper into that um, later on during the week when we go into our Shirley method. Any questions? Mm -mm. All righty. No, you can get um, whatever color dry erase marker you like. So what I want you to do right now as practice you, um, I want you to look at this sentence that's written on this whiteboard, and I want you to classify the sentence. If you see any of the eight parts of speech, identify those. Um, and don't forget to fully classify, you know, making sure the five parts are there. Um, you know how to classify. So go ahead and do that based on how we learned how to classify a sentence using the Shirley English method. All right? I'm going to give you literally one minute to classify this sentence. As fast as I can. One minute. So when we classify our sentence, we do our subject noun first, then our verb, all of our adverbs, all of our adjectives, regardless of where they are in the sentence. Then we look for preposition, what or whom. And then we identify our article adjectives. Then we identify the sentence pattern. Right now we're learning one sentence pattern, which is subject noun, verb, pattern one, check. Then we're going to talk about the type of sentence. We're going to go back to the verb. You know what to do. Ask if there are any adverb exceptions. You know what to do. And then we'll talk about whether the sentence is in natural order or whether it's in inverted order. Good job on your classification of the sentence. You only got one thing wrong, which I marked in red, and we will go over it as soon as you're done taking your break. But great job, okay? Mm -hmm. Although... We're not going to dive deep into, no, you, you hold it on your lap. Although we're not going to dive deep into what I'm about to bring up, we're going to dive into this concept on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday when we use our main curriculum and we do our main grammar days. You see how when we talked about prepositions mm -hmm. and we said a preposition is a preposition if it's talking about what? A noun or a pronoun and in your sentence you identified all the nouns this was in ducks was a noun in the way it was used apron was a noun the way it was used picture is a noun in the way that it was used right mm -hmm. so you are correct in classifying it and identifying your you're correct in identifying your parts of speech that way okay mm -hmm. however we're gonna learn that when you are answering the preposition questions, which are what? Um, above. No, no, no. Oh, what are the two it, questions? It, um, a noun, does it a noun pronoun? Right, but what are the two questions that we ask about the preposition when we're determining what if it's an adverb or, or a or preposition? Very good. What or whom? Mm -hmm. Very good. Is it, it's good. So, you're going to learn that when it's referencing a noun, mm -hmm. so when we said at, what is it talking about? At the picture. When we say of, of what? It's referring to the ducks. When we say on, on what? We're referring to the apron. Again, all these are nouns. Mm -hmm. But another word that we're going to call these rather than calling them nouns is the object of the preposition. What? what is the preposition talking about? What is the preposition talking about? If it's talking about a noun, we're going to say it's the object of the preposition. So um, later this week, when we start classifying our sentences, you're not going to put any other noun down anymore your subject noun is going to be the only noun you're going to identify mm -hmm. but if that preposition is talking about a noun we're going to put object of the noun so in this sentence this so noun would be o o p 
Okay. We're going to name this OP, which means object of the preposition, which means what is this preposition talking about? This object. What is this preposition talking about? This object. Okay. So object, say object of the preposition. Object of the preposition. So tell me, I want you to identify all the objects of the preposition for me within this sentence. What are all the objects of the preposition? Picture. Picture. And ducks. Ducks. What is apron. the an apron? So I want you to look at the sentence and tell me what are the preposition, what is the preposition, and what is the object of that preposition you're talking about. Go ahead. What's the first preposition? At. And what's and the at is talking about the picture. And the picture is what? Is the object of the preposition. So I want you to I want you to say that. You're gonna say at is the preposition, picture is the object of the preposition. Oh, no, I said own. Oh, and go ahead, I, thought go I, ahead. I thought it was an object in that one. Oh. <laughs> so go ahead, do the next one. Um, on. Oh, of. Oh, go ahead, of. Go. Of describes ducks. So go ahead and tell me. Ducks of is, is the. D of is what? Of is the. Preposition. Preposition. Mm hmm. Object. No. Oh. Of is the preposition. And ducks. Oh, the noun is, is the object of the preposition. Ob object. object of the preposition. Excellent job. And last one. Um, on. On is what? The faith. The f is nope. What is on? On is the preposition of coop apron. I keep on thinking that's. That's okay. Coop. Apron. So apron. on is the preposition. And, and apron, apron is, is the, the object of the preposition. Object of the preposition. Mm -hmm. So, in your own words, what is a what is the object of a preposition? What does that mean? Object of a preposition. What does that mean? Yes, that's thunder. <laughs> it might or it might not rain. I don't know. I see the concern in your in your brows. God, I ride my bike. Oh, doesn't rain? We can ride it. You can ride it. So, an object of a preposition. In your own words, what is an object of a preposition? An object of a preposition is... Oh. It is the noun, is the noun that the preposition... The preposition is describing. So, let's go ahead and say it again. The noun... No. Nope. I, mean, I mean, the object of the preposition is the, is the noun that the preposition is describing. Excellent job. And if the preposition is not referencing or talking about a noun what mm -hmm. is that word if that preposition word is not talking about a noun or a pronoun it's a what regular noun no remember we just said oh, adverb. adverb so repeat that sentence and complete it for me if the preposition, if the preposition mm -hmm, is is not talking about it's not talking about a noun. Or a pronoun. Or a pronoun. It's an adverb. Excellent job. You confused yet? No. <laughs> you got this? Yeah. Like, and I, we'll go into more I detail. Be no, I don't want you to be confused. And we'll talk about it more in detail and do lots of examples with classifying prepositions and this new term we're learning, which is called what? Object. Object of, of the, the preposition. Awesome job.